Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a different class app that I've not seen many people using but it actually beams in this game and it's the RPD class app in Warzone and it's actually pretty solid. It does a lot of damage, it's got good range, it's not got a lot of recoil and it absolutely beams people so it might be a variable option for you guys to start trying out. Just quickly before we do jump into the video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy the video, smash big thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on the RPD in the comments below and just let me know what you guys think. Obviously I'll run you through the attachments and then I will show you the clips that I've got with this. I've not got too many clips because I wasn't using the gun for too long so I was just getting slapped by the DMR and they just decided I was going to pull out the DMR but I've got a couple clips of it and you guys can check them out right at the end. So guys, as you can see, I did buy the new Tracer packs, and I bought it because I use the AK-74U in game battles a lot, and I just wanted the purple Tracers for game battles, so it did come with the RPD, and I thought I'd give it a try, and it's actually a bit of a beam. I told, I told you guys, it's not got a lot of recoil, it does a lot of damage, it's got a good ammo rate, and it just it just is a really good gun all round, and especially if you can get mounted up. If you can mount up on a wall, or a bollard, or just a tree, or anything, it's going to absolutely destroy the people you are beaming at, so I'm going to run you through the attachments right now. So obviously on the muzzle, like we do with every single gun, we are running the GLU suppressor. Take off the radar when you are shooting and also increase that damage range, which is the big thing. You want to be doing as much damage at the range with something like an LMG or an AR or attack rifle, something like that, as much as you can. So that's why we run the GLU suppressor. And obviously it also takes you off the radar. So obviously you don't want to be appearing on the radar whether you're running a suppressor, whether you're running ghost, whether you're running whatever it might be that takes you off the radar, cold blooded, anything just to keep you as low key as humanly possible, especially when it comes more to the end game. You don't want to be appearing on everyone's radar. So if you're beaming people across that final circle, you do not want to be peering on everyone's radar. You don't want people to know where you are. I mean, the purple bullet tracers probably don't help with that, but you know, we're not appearing on the radar. That's the main thing. So next up is the barrel, and I run 20.3 inch task force, and this increases the damage range, the effective damage range, and the bullet velocity, which is what makes this gun the absolute beast that it is all around. Like, up close, it's, it's a beast. That range is a beast. It's got no recoil. It just does so much damage as well, so... I definitely recommend giving this RPD class out a try, guys. So with this attachment, it does also slightly take away from the ammo and the starting amount of ammo and what sort of ammo you're going to have in the magazine. I believe there's 75 round drums from stock, uh, so it's probably going to be like 70 round stock, uh, drums at stock. So you're only going to lose a couple of bullets. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, the reload speed isn't great with this gun. However, it's not too, but it's not too bad. Like it's not the end of the world unless you're in a situation where you really do need to get that reload off. But you can just switch to your SMG, shotgun, whatever it is you're running with that secondary, and pull that out and try and get the kill that way. Obviously, like I always do with my ARs, LMGs, TAC rifles, anything like that, I am running the Axle Arms three times. Run whatever site works best for you, whichever site you're more comfortable with beaming people at, run whatever is best for you. The iron sights on this gun take up a lot of screen space, so I definitely would not recommend running iron sights. I'd run, even if you're just running a quick dot LED or something like that, just so it, it takes up less screen space, allowing you to see more enemies. But I like the three times, it's the perfect site for me. Like I always say, it's the good distance from the close and the far away. It just works out very well for me, and it's just the perfect sight for me. However, like I say, run whichever one you're more comfortable with. On the underbarrel, I like the Spetsnaz grip. It controls that horizontal and vertical recoil control, allowing you to just beam people. It's not really bouncing around. Like I say, this gun's very accurate as well with not a lot of recoil. As you can already see just how high that accuracy bar is. I'll show you it at the end as well, just the overall stats. And it's just very high, guys. Like The accuracy, the damage, the range, it's all up there. It's right up the top end. It just shows you how accurate and just powerful this gun is. And I'm surprised I haven't seen a lot more people using this or the Stoner in Warzone already. It just is completely riddled with DMRs and MAC-10s right now. So when that meta goes... I'd recommend getting onto this RPD because it's a bit of a beam. And finally, guys, on the rear grip, we go for the GRU Elastic Wrap. Increase that ADS speed. It's great because the ADS speed on LMG isn't great because it's a mobility. It's just not the great mobility as it is. Flinch resistance, it allows you to be being shot at, but also stay accurate whilst you're being shot at so you get your shots off, making you more likely to win a gunfight if they have not got flinch resistance on because you're going to start hitting your shots. They're going to start bouncing around and you're going to be staying deadly accurate while you're being shot at. And then it also allows you to aim while going prone. So basically you can ADS, lay down, stand back up without having to un-ADS at all within there. It does slightly take away from the sprint in move speed and the sprint to fire time. However, you're not going to be running around the map with your LMG out. There's just no way you're doing it. You're getting your shotgun or your SMG out and you're running about with that. So sprint to fire time or sprint to move, sprint in move speed, sorry, just isn't a big problem in this at all. Here is a full overlook at the class app, guys. If you want to pause it now, go make it in your game. You're more than welcome to do that. As you can see, like I said, the accuracy, the damage, and the range are right at the top end there as much as they can possibly be. If you do try this class, guys, let me know in the comments below how you do find it. I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say. If this was a Modern Warfare gun, I'd have had the sleight of hand perk on. However, you can't do that with this because obviously the Cold War gun and you've not got the Cold War wild cards or anything like that in Warzone, which I wish, which I really wish I had to put in. I would love to have seen the fact that I could run eight attachments on a gun or run six perks of the class. I wish they had chucked that in for the Cold War classes. However, they haven't, so we just got to get on with it. 
But if you guys have enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this class in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, I'm on the road to 5k subs. If you can help me hit that, that'd be amazing. And if you want to watch me get all my clips live, twitch.tv forward slash harry17p. I'm streaming almost every day right now. So if you want to go check that out, the link's in my description along with all my other social medias. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. I'm going to run some clips now and we'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace. How's that not a headshot? What? How has I not killed him? Why are they not, why are they staying in? They're turning. Oh, oh, let's one. get after them. They're shit, they're shit. They're literally they sitting are. in the car. Let's do it. Top of green. Tagged him up a couple times. I've got an LMG that I've got to reload right now, so. Um, I'm just up. Yeah, they're fighting, they're fighting. The bounties. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Armor coming. Down. Same what? Yeah, no, there's still team here. That was gorgeous, gorgeous. He's yeah, that. just went round there. Wait, wait, wait. Woo-wee! Alright, the RPD. The shot's to the left is over there. Yeah. Throwing grenades. What, are they? Yep, 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 yep. The sniper aims in really fast. I don't know what he's on it, but aims in so fast. Over there. Oh, he's sniping at me. What are you doing, lad? How can you are, you freak? It's the same guy. Oh, you're gonna sell, huh? Are we looking? Not on my watch, you're not. Supply stack. Trying to get to this hill to see if there's any kids coming in. Why it's definitely it's kids to our right fight. Yeah, yeah, there's fucking precisions going down over there. Truck, 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 truck. I'm dead here. Hit the driver once. Disabled it. Down one. Got my full. Kill. Other side of the truck, like front driver side. Yeah, front side. He's sniping at me. He doesn't have the English. Kaboom! He's not. I don't see it. Gonna be honest. Yeah, I did. Mate, he's got the DMR, he's got a DMR, he's got a DMR. Oh, seek I, I, all my hit, my bullets are going through him. I literally had all my Mac 10. I tagged him up a couple. You I have to man up no his bullets. You got he's, he's got a DMR, man. He just one shot me. He's just gone out the back. Both. He just dipped out the back. Wait, you can't get him back if you want to jump out of there. Left, right. Left. Oh, right. Fucked. There's another guy. There's so another two in. people. Uh. I don't see him. I'm not 100% oh, sure he landed there. In front of me, in front of me, down, right below, right below, stand there. He's one shot down here, one shot down here, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. What gun inside, Jeff? He dipped behind, I think. Down, down, down. Oh, that's a good shot. Inside him.